Hey, AOK -okay Product Reviews, this is Rich. Okay, real quick, I'm doing a knife review, reveal of the Ethan Grow 335. So this knife is one of the two knives I purchased extra for the Ethan Grow box for Metalhead Blades. Right. This is the knife, this is the Ethan Grow that I've wanted for a long time. Now I know why. Because I got the eye. Yeah. Let me check my speaker. I got to make sure everything's on because I just shot a whole video again. I'm losing my damn mind. Shot a whole video again and the camera was flipped. So you got my voice and then you got the wall that I'm looking at right now. It was a good one too. Told a pretty good story about myself. I'm not going to say it again, so screw it. Ethan Grow 335. Wicked, wicked chunk of metal. Yes. And yeah, you're watching that. Just a little. Look at that. Very good action. Almost hard to fail. The blade's nice and heavy, so it just it just rolls those bearings right down to the drop almost. A little bit of oil, maybe a loosen. Just a little bit of loosen on the pivot. Centered perfectly. Nice jimping across the top. Thumb studs are really cool. All the hardware on this is really neat. It's this triangle stuff. All of it. All these little screws, bolts, whatever. They got these weird triangle head. The thumb studs have the triangle. Look at the grind on that knife. It's a hollow grind, compound grind, with this killer swedge on top. This jimping's for real. The G10 super smooth. I'm telling you what, Metalhead Blades. Yep. And it's also going to come with that friction knife that I'm not going to show, the EF11. Check it out. And it also comes with the Underground Fighting Network FOB Pass. You come to Indiana, come out, you know, location is going to be unknown. You'll know. Trust me. I'll send coordinates to you through radio frequency. You, you'll find, all of a sudden you'll be here and you're going to know what to do. You're going to see like a, a little silo. Go up. Door opens up. You get in this elevator. It's going to be a cool elevator too. Yeah, it's not going to be like stainless steel, all metal and cold and sterile no it's gonna be like mahogany wood brass rail it's even gonna have a chair in it that you can sit in because only one person can go up or down one time yeah there's a fire down 12 stories underground in the fight network we're in trouble because only one person at a time can get out of there yeah we live dangerous lives yeah also when you get this fob you get a nickname a 12 story underground fighting network nickname Metalhead Blades, your nickname's Clickety Clack. <laughs> Clickety Clack. Sorry. It's going to get on your nerves at first, and you're going to get used to it. RVCA Trucker Hat. I got four trucker, five trucker hats back there, brand new, that I bought. And I'm trying them all out. You tell me which one you like the best. I've already worn the Grace Folly. I like this. This one's pretty much the winner. I did a video on it, screwed it up, so this is what you get. Alpine Stars, I like this hat. This is a cool hat. I think this hat may end up becoming like a, a bent bill hat, not a flat hat. Okay, this hat's funky monkey. I'm probably going to find an opportunity to use it and wear it. Probably backwards, doing something stupid by the pool, drinking beer. Yeah, it's a little too funky monkey for me. But I, I'll have it. Cause I'm not gonna give these away. Maybe I will some at some point. I got more. I got a Magpul hat. Another Magpul hat I like a lot. That's one, two, three, four. Five. Yeah, the Magpul hat is awesome. I'm, I okay. still gotta wear. I'm gonna wear the Alpine Star hat in the next video, and then I'm gonna wear the Funky Monkey hat, and then that'll be all the hats worn. And then you guys tell me which one you like the best. This RVCA is pretty cool because I like David Spade, and I think he reps them. But who knows? So yeah, I wanted to show you that knife. It's awesome. It's awesomeness. Clickety clack, you're going to like that. Don't talk back. I'm out. That's all I needed to do. Let you know that was happening. Clickety clack, don't talk back.